much. I'm going to share my screen, so hopefully this might take a little time to load up. I hope everyone can hear me okay. Um, I have got a bit of a stinking cold, so if I do have a coughing fit, please excuse me. I'll try and switch on quickly. Just bear with me. Okay, just let me know when you can see that screen with a thumbs up. That'd be great. Well, we, um, I'll, I'll talk. You are, I'll, I'll talk to these for a bit, and then I'll switch off. Then you can see me again. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, great. Um, so, um, hi everyone. Um, I'm sure you've been having a, a, an interesting day. I'll try to. This is a bit of a lightning talk, so I'll try and fly through this quite quickly. But um, as as um, uh, your facilitator says, I am Rich Holden. I am the operations manager for Bath and Soma Valley Enterprise Zone. Um, uh, in Baines, um, and I work within the Enterprise Zone Regeneration Team um, at Baines. So, um, I've been asked to provide a bit of a lightning overview of the Soma Valley Enterprise Zone, um, or as I would call it from now on, SVES, because it's rather simpler. Um, and just so that if I locate this for you, for your benefits, I know obviously you come from different parts of the region, but um, the Soma Valley is to the south of our district in Baines. Um, it sits on the A362 uh, and it sits um, between, well, you've got Midsummer Norton and Radstock to the east of this, uh, of, of Spurs, which is the area outlined in red. Uh, you have Farrington Gurney to the west, uh, which is a small village that sits on the A362 and the A37. Uh, and you have uh, Porton to the north. Um, and we uh, achieved planning permission through something called a local development order uh, that was secured only this week actually um, through through the council. So um, it's taken a long time to get to this point. It's taken about five years of my time to get to a point where we have a, essentially a planning framework in place that enables delivery of this intervention. Um, so uh, the enterprise zone. Spares, and this is the master plan, it essentially shows, um, I, I won't go through detail, the, the detail of this, but essentially shows the makeup of, 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 of this intervention. So Valley Enterprise Zone Spares, it's a green sustainable business park. Um, it has a mix of commercial premises on site. Uh, it's about, in total square footage, it's about 385,000 square feet, which actually is relatively modest in scale. It's about a 33 acre site. Um, of about, as I say, 385,000 square feet of delivery. It sits in the Soma Valley um, and with, with a population of circa 30,000 people locally. Um, we are aiming to deliver about 1,300 jobs uh, at the Enterprise Zone and it will probably take from the point of delivery of all the infrastructure works, which is the, essentially the road interventions and the, the, uh, the, the side roads, it will take after that about 10 years uh, to complete the delivery of the site. What I do want to point out though on this plan, which actually is quite difficult to read, so apologies, but if you can see the roundabout at the bottom of the plan, uh, we do have part of our infrastructure works, we are uh, putting in two bus stops, so there's one on the um, on, on the eastern arm of, of, of that roundabout and one on the western arm of that roundabout. So we are putting in the bus infrastructure um, to enable buses to run uh, to the site, but I'll come on to say a little, little bit more about that in a moment. So, um, so this is a slightly grey picture, but I think it, it's worthwhile just showing. So, um, Midsummer Northern Radstock is down to the south there of this picture, uh, and you can see it's got quite a lot of um, dark blue uh, uh, around it. The reason I want to show you this um, is kind of just to explain one of the reasons why the council is intervening here in the Southern Valley. Um, and, and there are many, but, the, but one of those, one of the reasons why we are intervening is to reduce the amount of out commuting from the Summer Valley that take, currently takes place. So at the moment, around about a third to a half of the economically active people in, in the Summer Valley commute more than 10 kilometres, that's more than six miles to work, so they, they commute out of the area to go to work. And we're, we're looking to create um, the enterprise zone uh, at the Soma Valley to reduce the amount of power commuting that takes place. It's not a panacea, but it's, it's aiming to, to, to reduce that amount of power commuting. 
and in doing that by we will look to improve air quality and importantly keep jobs uh, keep the jobs local to the Sound Valley. Um, so how are we looking to address that out commuting point? Uh, this slide is, is, uh, is a little bit um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I'm trying to show you on, on this slide. So SPHERES is an intervention to make our district more sustainable um, and changes to movement patterns overall uh, will uh, offer wide benefits to residents in the Soma Valley um, and enable people to remain local. What we're, it's important what we're trying to do is to seek to change habits from day one of the enterprise zones um, being operational and we're doing that by putting the infrastructure in place up front to make sure that people can choose to change their way in which they travel to, to the enterprise zone. And what you can see here is um, a, a number of ways in which the council is looking <coughs> to, to deliver that. So we have um, an active uh, walking and cycling uh, routes going into the Summer Valley along the A362. So those are the um, slightly olive green uh, routes that you can see from Farron to Gurney through into towards Spes, which is this, which is now not shown as a bit of an amber coloured anvil. And then you can see the blue line running across from Spes uh, into Summer Valley, into Midsummer Dawson. And that's what those two lines are essentially active travel. They're shared, they're combined um, or segregated walking and cycling routes uh, that mean that people can travel throughout the whole of the Summer Valley from Farron to Gurney through and actually um, in due course. Um, the idea is through the Sound Valley Links project, they can also travel from Farron to Gurney all the way up to, um, uh, to Bristol by uh, active travel means. So that means by walking or cycling. Um, that's one of the ways in which we're looking to, to intervene. Um, combine those two routes, those two walking and cycling routes, provide a comprehensive pedestrian and cycle route, as I say, from Farron to Gurney all the way through into Northern Bradstock and the Greenway through the Surrey Valley. But we're also looking to promote sustainable travel by bus provision to the spheres. Um, and at a project level, uh, we've started that conversation with First Bus about how we might achieve that. Okay, so very quickly, just wanted to say a little bit about the bus service provision at the moment. So um, back in late 2023, um, we uh, looked at bus service provision um, and we commissioned a piece of work to, to, that, that looked at that and what we found out that um, during 2023 there were about five routes um, that were lost that were terminated in the Summer Valley area that's the 82, 82A, 178, 179 three, and 379 and also a service reduction in the uh, 349 route um, but we also saw uh, an extension so there was an extension, a revised service for the for the 172, that extended the route from um, extended the route from Midsummer Dawson into Porton and on to Bristol, um, and we saw a new service that was funded, which was the 522, which runs between Bristol and Bath um, bus stations via Porton, Radstock, and Midsummer Dawson. Um, but for us, importantly for the Southern Valley Enterprise Zone, since October 2022, there has been no bus service provision at all uh, on the A362. Um, in spite of all those changes, interestingly, bus service provision to spares does meet the minimum requirements. Actually, in some areas, exceeds the minimum requirements. Um, which, seem, which arguably seems a little bit odd when we've seen such a reduction in, in, in bus service. And I guess then really that kind of leads on to what are the issues locally that residents find. Um, and I think it's really around the uncertainty um, over routes is disruptive. Um, and for the council, especially when we're seeking to define habits from day one of the, of the occupation of space, that's a, that's a problem. Um, so the issues that I think that we as a project team may, need to start to look to address is, is, the, is that obviously bus service provision is a complex arena and there is a perception of limited control and certainty over routes. Um, we're also, Locally, services can meet that minimum requirement, but also can leave people feeling disconnected. So you may get routes that run north-south, but the connectivity east-west is not always that good. Um, and for us, by leading on delivery of infrastructure through bus stops at Spares and those walking and cycling routes, the council is providing confidence for the future, uh, for a future bus service that runs to Spares.
because by putting that infrastructure in an early stage, we can have those conversations with first bus around um, replacing lost services uh, in the Soma Valley. Thank you.